Today, we're gonna to take a look at how to install a Bontech BMG extruder on your Creality Ender 5 or Ender 5 Pro 3D printer. My name's Alex, and this is Modified 3D. Now, before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That way you can get all the latest up-to-date videos on how to modify your 3D printer. Now, the stock extruder works okay on the Creality Ender 5. The Ender 5 Pro introduces an all-metal extruder that you can also see up there. The stock Creality extruders work okay, but they're definitely not going to get the job done if you want to print anything flexible or soft. They also tend to be quite noisy just because of the way that they're designed. The spring can click a lot and that's the issue that I have on this Ender 5. Now the design is the same as the Ender 3 and with that I had a lot of skipped steps where it was just not extruding correctly. Thankfully I haven't had that issue on the 5 yet but we're just going to get ahead of it and install in my opinion one of the best extruders out there, the Bontech BMG. All you're going to need for this install is your Bontech dual drive extruder as well as a couple of Allen keys. So we'll start by just removing our 3D printed extruder wheel and we can set that to the side. That won't be used anymore. And I'm also going to use my pliers just to get off this collar that holds in the PTFE tube. And we can set that to the side. Once we have that off, we can pull our PTFE tube out and tuck that away. What we'll do next is we'll remove our lever. And that is done by first taking out the spring. And that's held in place by a tension bolt right here. We can take that tension bolt out, set that to the side, and carefully remove our spring. We don't want it to shoot out. And we'll set that to the side. Once we have spring tension taken off, we can now take off the lever. Now you'll notice my extruder is placed on the top of my printer whereas the stock one is on the side. The install is going to be the same, it's just mine's in a different location. Once we have that off, we can go ahead and remove the three other bolts holding it on and the motor will fall off once that is done so you are going to want to hold the motor so that you're not dropping it on your bed. Once you get that out, we can just unplug our motor, set that to the side, and we can take our old extruder base off. The next thing to do is take off the wheel from our old stepper motor, and I'm also going to clean up all that plastic out of there as well. So we grab our smallest Allen key, and we can just go ahead and loosen these two bolts or grub screws, and then just clean this off. Much better, all that plastic in there was being ground up filament. Just how bad this thing chews it all up. You can see there, all that filament in there. But we can set the old wheel aside, we aren't gonna be needing that. And we can unbox our Bontech BMG. Get a little congratulations card in there. We get our adjustment wheel and our new gear. Under that, we have our powered by Bontech sticker. And then finally, we have our Bontech BMG extruder. It comes in two halves with the three bolts that you need already installed basically. So we'll set our box to the side and on this bag it shows here the correct versus incorrect way to mount your drive gear 
on the stepper motor shaft. So you want it with the grub screw facing up and not down. You want about a millimeter gap there. And obviously you want your grub screw on the flat side of the shaft. Tighten that down and we're good to move back to the printer. So what we're gonna do is make sure our stepper motor has the wires facing the right way. And that's gonna be out the back. And we're just gonna drop the BMG right on top. Feed that up to the bottom. And we can tighten down our bolts. Now that we got that done, we can plug in our extruder motor wire. And I'm gonna have to fish up a little bit more length here. There we go. Got that in place. Now, traditionally you would have to take your wires and flip them because the bond tech turns in a separate direction than the stock extruder. However, because I have the TH3D Easy Board, I'm able to edit my firmware to reverse the motor direction in the firmware. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys how to do. Um, if you do not have that option, there are G-code scripts, I believe, that you can use to do that. Um, there's also plenty of other videos online on how to edit stock Marlin firmware. Um, personally, I don't edit stock Marlin firmware. I use the TH3D Easy Firmware Compiler just because it's much easier and there's a lot less ways you can screw stuff up. So that's what we're gonna do uh, next. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my PTFE tube in, put this collar back on. But what we'll do is flash that firmware update and then we can load some filament up and test it. The last thing to do on the install is just take our tension knob and that screws into the side here and holds our tension lever down in place. For PLA, I like to go all the way tight and then I back it out about a turn and a half to two turns. Seems to be what's worked for me on the uh, Ender 3 Pro with the Biontech BMG. So that's gonna be my recommendation for starting out. So what we're gonna do now is just go to easyfirmware.th3dstudio.com and this is gonna be for version 2.09B of the unified firmware. We're gonna go to easy config and choose our Ender 5. And we do have the new lead screw. Um, this is for printers made after about June of 2020. I'm gonna enable custom printer name and we call this Project Aries. Hit next step and our bed leveling. This is where I'm gonna pick easy ABL. Go ahead and pick your mount. I have the CR10 OEM. And I'm gonna leave Easy ABL Fast Probe active. Mine has no issues. I'm not gonna use Super Fast Probe though, just to keep the accuracy fine. Uh, and this I'm gonna leave the same as well as the Easy ABL Probe Edge. That just shows how far in or out it measures. Um, those are fine just to leave stock. I will change the Easy ABL points to five just to give me a little bit more accuracy on the mesh. I will leave off uh, all the rest though. However, I do like to uh, put slower probe moves and fine baby stepping on just for more control. For the filament sensor, I use an easy out and it is mounted. Um, we have the stock thermistor, stock uh, bed thermistor as well. Uh, it's not a direct drive, but we do want to activate custom e-steps and set that to 415 per the Bontech recommendation. Um, and that's under the motors tab. That's really going to be the main change that we're doing in here. 
as well as reversing our e-motor direction. So realistically, those are the only two changes that we're making to the firmware. We can hit next step. Um, I like to hit slower homing just to make it easier on the end stops. Um, and we'll go ahead next step. Give it a little tag here so that we can find it later on. Uh, if you guys want to download this exact firmware and you have a easy board, go ahead and type this in and you can get this exact firmware. Just got to prove you're not a robot real quick. Once we get this done, we can go ahead and download it. It'll take a second here, go through queue, then compile. Once we have that, we can download the firmware.bin, load that up onto our USB and call it good. So the last thing to do now that we got the firmware flashed is just install our Powered by Bontech EMG sticker. And I'm gonna do it just like I did on the Ender 3 Pro which is on the LCD screen, covering up this ender text, but leaving the dragon. And this is always the best part. And just like that, we have our Bontech BMG installed and completed. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, make sure to put them down in the comments. I'll try and get to them as quick as I can. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and make sure to hit that subscribe button to receive more videos on modifying your 3D printer. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex and this is Modified 3D.